Up first tonight, fire investigators right now, they are hunting for an arsonist accused of torching a dentist's office in Northwest Las Vegas. That's right. Firefighters say that blaze could have taken out most of the complex. 13 Action News reporter Shonda Lancey is live at Able Dental with what tipped off investigators that the fire was set on purpose. Sean. Todd, Trisha, arson investigators say that a naturally occurring fire will set off one or two sprinkler heads tops here at Abel Dental. It set off multiple uh, sprinkler heads because the fire burned so hot and so fast, letting them know that someone set it on purpose. Cleanup begins at Abel Dental following a fire that gutted the dental office and damaged a nearby attorney's office. This is where Jonathan Lopez gives us a tour. We got all the damage for the water damage. The back room wet boxes soaking up dirty water and the smell of smoke fills the air. It's the inconvenience, you know, I mean, we had a full calendar of appointments today and we had to reschedule everyone. <laughs> Firefighters are calling this arson, saying it burnt so hot and so fast that the flames activated several ceiling sprinklers. Natural fires usually activate just one or two. This is a complex fire right here. This Tim Szymanski with Las Vegas Fire and Rescue says sprinklers activate above 155 degrees. And with so many activating at the same time, it's immediately suspicious. It would be similar to someone maybe throwing a match on a barbecue and you get that big poof. He says without the sprinkler system, a third of the building could easily have been burnt to the ground. Property owner Nariza Johnson now swears by the system. It saved our building. If uh, I think it would have probably burned down at least half. Still, she's estimating a huge repair bill coming her way and coming for the two businesses damaged by apparent arson. I'm thinking it's going to be about six figures. It's a good thing she has insurance. Sismansky says that they'll be looking to see if there are any disgruntled employees or upset customers, and they're looking into a lot of other avenues as well. He says this investigation is going to take a long time, so if you can help, go ahead and give fire investigators a call. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News. Sean, thank you.